Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Dennis Duke is my name. If you're new here, please subscribe. The button is just there. My name is subscribing. Now, there isn't, I, I think, of all the things I have always wanted or ever wanted to become, Kwekubeda first son, yes, because I'm a man, if I were a woman, well, I would be fantasizing or I would have loved Okubeda first daughter. Now that I am a man, those can stick in your first son. Yes, of course, I'm a man. So, Okubeda first son, being the first son is a privilege everywhere in the world. There are certain things you have access to. There are certain things you, you're just given, okay, because you're a first son. The, whether you, your father ruled this country a few years ago or 30 years ago, or I don't, it doesn't matter. As long as you're the first son, you're the first daughter, you given privilege. Now today I wanted us to break down uh, the first sons of uh, the nine presidents that have so far ruled Uganda. I wanted to give you their whereabouts. Who are they first of all? Do people recognize them? But also what are they up to? What are they doing? So that we get to know what is happening in the lives of these people. Don't you go away because the list starts right now. Now, Africa and the world at large have several father-to-son presidents. Then, presidents. But in Uganda, it is yet to happen. So, have you ever thought of what the first sons of all the nine Ugandan presidents are up to? Well, Uganda, eh, will this year, we are celebrating 57 years of independence. But let's now take a very quick look at what the first sons are doing. We shall start with Kabaka Ronald Muenda Mutevi II. Although Prince Chiwe Waluswata is the first son of Kabaka Edward Mutesa II, who is the first president of Uganda, the reigning Kabaka of Buganda, Ronald Muenda Mutevi II, is the most prominent of all the sons of Mutesa. Lady Sarah Narule is the mother of Mutevi. So, upon the death of his father in 1969, Mutevi was selected as the head of the royal house of Buganda, but was enthroned as Kabaka of Buganda years later in 1993 when cultural institutions in Uganda were restored. Now, if you very well know the history of Buganda, you definitely know what I'm talking about. The Kabaka of Buganda is also a very prominent much as he's not the first son he is one of the sons of uh, the then president of uganda yes he, the first president edward uh, mutesa the second and so he has reclaimed that position and that is none other than the kabaka of buganda i do not need to make a lot of noise about him because well the history about him is well known jimmy akena is the second on the list Jimmy Akena is the son of two-time former president Milton Obote, who ruled this country from 1957 to 1971 and 1980 to 1985. Now, Akena is said to have been very close to his father. Edango no used to live with him in exile in Zambia after he was deposed in a coup eh, by Idi Amin Dada, the field marshal. Now, Akena he is currently the president of Uganda's People uh, Congress, a political party that was started by his father. He. Now, Akena is reported to have tight relationship with the ruling NRM party. And in the 2016 general elections, he surprised the opposition pairs when media reports emerged that uh, the UPC man had cut a deal with President Museveni to support him. And his wife, Betty Amongi, is currently the Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Now, that is just the latest uh, that I have for you from uh, Jimmy Akena, the, former, the son of former president, Dr. Melton, Apollo Melton Obote. Taban Amin is also on the list with Idi Amin being a polygamist. He is said to have left behind more than 30 children and Taban Amin is one of the few who are known. Taban Amin has links with the current ruling NRM party as well and it's no surprise he serves in intelligence circles as deputy director of the external security 
organization. In 2016, his son, Taban Amin Jr., won a parliamentary seat in Chivanda County on the NRM ticket. So, mm, I thought you should know about Taban Amin. He has one of those, you know, first sons of President Idi Amin Dada. He's, uh, well, doing very well, not bad at least. So, also, Waswa Lule. Now, Waswa Lule is son or is a son to the late Yusuf Lule. Yusuf Lule was also uh, a president of this country. For those who followed history, I won't go very, very deep in Yusuf Lule. Now, Waswa Lule served in various political offices in this Museveni era. He formerly served as a member of parliament for Lubaga North before he was appointed Deputy Inspector General of Government, IGG, a post he did not hold for a very long time as he was sacked by the president. His brother, Katolule, is rumored to be a pharmacist in the United Kingdom, while another brother, Fred Chironde Lule, is self-employed in the same country. Yes, that is none other than Waswa Lule. Moving on, Henry Okelo Oriem. Just like Akena, Henry Okelo Oriem, a son to President Tito Okelo Lutwa, has for long been close to the regime's inner circle. And when I talk about the regime, the current regime, I'm referring to the NRM party. He is a legislator, member of the ruling National Resistance Movement, NRM, and has been in Museveni's cabinet since 2001. Most of the time, as Minister of Foreign Affairs. That is uh, Henry Okelo Oriem. Moving on. Francis Birunji Binaisa, he, one of the known sons of ex-Uganda President Geoffrey, or rather Godfrey Lukongwa Binaisa, Francis Birunji Binaisa is still serving in his sentence at Luzira Prison. Francis Binaisa was convicted and sentenced by the High Court in 2012 to 12 years in prison for aggravated defilement. He filed papers in the court of appeal but his appeal well it flopped i thought you should know about the son of binaisa well moving on and perhaps crowning the list is muhozi kainerugaba i think he is one of the prominent first sons ah of the former presidents of this country in recent times muhozi kainerugaba rather muhozi kainerugaba I beg your pardon, is the firstborn of President Iyori Kaguta and Janeti Museveni. Or Janat Museveni, if you refer to, he, to her as that. But for me, I'd prefer calling her Janet Museveni because that's the well known or the widely known pronunciation. And I beg uh, to be, you know, forgiven just in case I have wrongly pronounced that name. Muhozi is a senior military officer who has grown over the years. He served as the commander of the special forces when he was at the rank of lieutenant colonel. He was later promoted to a rank of major general in 2017 and appointed as the senior presidential advisor for special operations, a post he holds up to date. Currently, he is at the rank... Uh, the rank of lieutenant general, the second highest in the Ugandan army. He is almost getting to a, the rank of general. Yes. Hey, if you've not known or if you did not know. And so I felt like, okay, let me now break down the list. And for me, what, what makes it special is that there is quite a lot that we ought to learn from the first sons, mostly now. Um, Hozi Kainurugama. Yes, he has, you know, tried to. Uh, and, and just to add on, he is currently being looked at by many as uh, Museveni's successor. Yes, he's expected to succeed his father. But, well, like I told you, we haven't had that yet in Uganda. I mean, it has happened in Kenya, elsewhere, Tanzania. But in Uganda, well, it's yet to happen. And if it happens, we shall be here to inform you as well. Well, that is how, what I had for you today. Keep subscribing. 
but we wish all the best, eh, the first sons of this country, because uh, we all know that leadership comes from God. You might have missed the throne or the seat uh, for presidency. You may not even rule this country, but leadership comes from God. Continue maintaining the legacy that your fathers, that your fathers kept for this country. It really hurts me, and I, I'll speak this on camera. It really hurts me seeing a son of a president become a nuisance in a country very very sad it saddens my heart a lot i mean you have these all opportunities looking at you i mean you there is no office you can enter to and say you know what i'm a son of i'm a son of so and so was the president of this country in fact even if you don't even mention that people know them already so it, it makes my heart go cold at times when i hear stories of first sons behaving in a way that we do not actually expect so guys go out and grab those opportunities and become better persons i'm working very hard to become maybe the president of this country one day who knows and i will also ask my children how exactly it feels being first children or first sons or first daughters mm. until then it's a goodbye keep here keep subscribing my name is dennis duke